Hello everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War. Uh, I just did a little bit of small things in between episodes. I, I took Toulouse. That was pretty trivial. There was only one unit guarding it, so we've taken a few casualties, but nothing to be concerned about. Uh, I also destroyed that little Russian group that was uh, being annoying in that area. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, all that we can really do now is just make preparations to, uh, I guess, hold the line? we we got to make an offensive at some point. But for now, we just got to make sure we stabilize again. Um, we took Stuttgart, so hopefully that's a bit of a buffer. But I, uh, Baden-Württemberg is not very happy with us. So, uh... That's concerning, but I can't help that at the moment. Uh, yeah, they're they're very angry with us, uh, mostly due to that historical grievances stuff. So, yeah, that sucks, but we'll have to work around that. Uh, I guess now we just wait to see what the enemy wants to do. All right. Um, cool, they're attacking us. That saves us the trouble. All right. Um, I expect their reinforcements are going to come from the northwest. So from their side, hopefully we, that means we don't have to really split up our forces like we had to in that, that battle last time we were here. Um, let's, let's get our reserve going. Whoops. Come on. Okay. Hopefully that's good. Where are they coming from? Yep, pretty much exactly where I thought they would. Great. Uh, and they're attacking us, so we can just sort of hang back a little bit. Alright. They're about to engage. So let's actually prepare to swing around and hit him on the flanks. Hopefully the trees will provide us with a little bit of cover. Go, now! don't like the amount of forces that are coming this direction, though. No. That could actually be a problem. Keep these guys a little bit closer. You guys get right in there. Oh crap, uh, let's fall back a little bit. They're sort of, they're trying to flank us. But this unit's taking pretty heavy casualties, so that's good. I don't know what they're doing over here. Maybe it's like, no, it shouldn't be two separate armies. I don't know. But let's uh, let's keep our position appropriate for the situation. Again, get ready to just shoot directly into their eyeballs. They're not taking very many casualties, but they are. Look at the piles of Frenchmen going on over there. Oh, you're shooting over there now, so you guys move up and start shooting at those guys. Let's uh, let's do what they tried to do to us and get on their flanks. If we can envelop this this whole batch of units here, that'll be pretty helpful, I think. Ah, crap. Cool. Our right flank is doing pretty okay right now. 
they are not moving very hard on our left, which is great. But there is a big concentration there, so we do have to watch out for that. But hopefully we can crush them on our right and then move up around the town and smash them. But we'll have to see how that plays out. Alright, cool. Their left is now breaking. And that means that I'm actually going to send these guys over there. Well, no, we'll we'll keep these guys as a reserve on our, our right. I don't like how close they're getting. You guys, move backwards, please. You guys really get on there. Alright, cool. They're completely broken on that side. Let's uh, let's turn and start dealing with with all this. Uh, they're still moving up. Stop it. Okay. Let's uh, let's get in behind the town, and um, you guys will be our reserves over on this side. Okay, I think this is the line that we're going to have to hold. I hope they can hold. That's a lot of French units coming in. Hold, men. Just kill as many as you can. Alright, the French are breaking a little bit. That's good. Wow, okay. We've basically thrown them back now. Excellent work. Alright, you guys fall back and you guys move up. A little bit. Just keep shooting into the French lines. I think we're alright though. Our men are running Ooh. Yeah, uh, they did break that unit, but uh, they took very heavy casualties at, at the same time, so. Uh, you guys go and deal with them. And you guys hold them. You guys actually fall back. Oh, crap. Uh, yikes. That's a problem. We actually have to stop them from doing that. I think these are fresh units. Yeah, they're definitely fresh. Fresh French. Okay. Um, yeah, you do that. And then you guys keep dealing with that. But you guys fall back a little bit. We just need to hold on for a little longer uh, before it declares us winners. All right, I think I think we're holding on this side. So, uh, God, that timer cannot run out fast enough. <laughs> it's just help. We are kind of right back where we started on this side, unfortunately, but that's okay. Like I said, we just need to hold on a little longer. If we can push them back, we might be able to just take Corsica, and that'll give us a big advantage, because then we'll start regenerating. Oh. Yeah, we may have to start a fighting withdrawal. 
But that's okay, because now we have a huge advantage over them. Like I said, we, we don't have to break them, we just have to hold. Uh, you guys fall back a little bit. Just keep them moving through the city. If we can get them into sort of a weird choke point, then that'll help a lot. Cool. I think we killed uh, a second general. Alright. And we just need to hold for another minute and a half or so. Whew! Alright, I think we're, we've done it. That was exhausting. Oh, wow! We basically dealt twice as many casualties as they did on us. Um, they still got a significant force, but it's it's still been pretty brutalized. Oh crap! That's not good at all. That's also not good at all. Well, let's go ahead and push the Russians back. Alright, uh, let's do a similar thing that we did before. Oh, but we have entrenchments now. Why is our deployment area so freaking small? Alright, I think I'm going to use most of these for anti-cavalry defenses. So, I'm going to start deploying stuff. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, uh, I've finished setting up my defenses. So... Uh, let's let's draw them in hopefully come on come charge at me brave Russians die upon my defenses please yes exactly like that well done all right, awesome. Um, so that's their cavalry dealt with, more or less. Let's uh, let's move some more reinforcements over to that side. Let's move a lot more reinforcements over to that side and start rolling them up. Hello? They might start charging us. So let's also get some some guys in a second line just behind our first. So that if they do charge us, then they'll have a heck of a time with it. Uh, they're still doing some damage on this side, unfortunately. But I think... I think they'll be alright once, um, like, if they can just hold on for a little while, then, oh, crap, their cavalry, uh, they think they will, I think they walked mostly around our defenses. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, that's not good. In fact, you guys get, like, behind those entrenchments there. Guys, keep shooting their uh, their light infantry. Ah, crap. Just need to keep pushing them on their flanks, I think. Alright. They are pushing past our entrenchments, but they are also taking some pretty heavy casualties while they do it.
Alright, cool. Oh, less cool, less cool, less cool. Hold. Please. Ugh. Oh, crap. Here, you guys get on their flanks. No, you guys keep shooting them. You guys start to turn a little bit. And you guys turn that way. I think we've both taken some pretty heavy casualties in this fight. But, uh, that's okay, we're on the defensive. Alright, now you guys move right up into their faces. Great. Here, you guys kill those grenadiers. And then you guys get up there. Whew. All right. Run faster, please. All right, great. Now let's uh, eliminate the Russians that got past our, our entrenchments. Awesome, okay. We're holding them back now. Uh, you guys actually shoot their general if you can. That's Kutuzov, right? Oh, it's Benigzin. Okay. That's alright, too. Benigzin, in fact, that's even better, because if it's not Kutuzov, that means if we kill him, then he's not coming back. I, I mentioned in a previous episode that some generals are, like, story important, and so they respawn after they heal up if they're killed in battle. Uh, for the Russians, that's Kutuzov. Uh, but uh, Benigzen is, he's another important general, but he's not uh, a respawning one. Each faction only has one that actually respawns like that. So, yeah, that's a good general that just died in the field. Excellent. Uh, how are, how's their backline doing? Not great, actually. They don't have any escorts for their cavalry now. Or for their, their artillery, rather. Run? What are you doing? What are the Russians doing right now? Okay. We're good. Uh, you guys see if you can get behind the defenses so that uh, their artillery is not destroying you. Alright. Great. And now, let's take out their artillery, which is their their last non-routed bunch of units in the field. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. I know. It's good. It's all fine. If you can, at the very least, just disrupt them. Just get them off of the guns. All right. Cool. Now you guys get back. And now the cannons think they're normal infantry, so they're going to walk up and get killinated. Oh, they retook their guns. But I don't think they're doing much with them, so that's okay. Now, watch these guys walk straight into a giant wall of muskets. <laughs> I mean, they still didn't really take any, any losses, really, but... Wow. Glorious victory, sir. Jeez, look at the state of our army. They hurt us real bad, but I think we hurt them real bad, too.
Yeah, yeah, we destroyed that army, basically. Like, we, we lost the same number of men, just about. Uh, they lost about 100 more than us, but we also started with a huge amount more. So, yeah, well done. And most of our units came back. Okay, he's good. And he's safe. We got sabotaged. Pay the Ock. Vienna is besieged, but we have another army nearby. So that will push that back that uh, Prussian army. Kill. Great. And I honestly thought they were going to go for Moravia, not, not Vienna, but way to surprise me. We got a yeah, uh, spy leveled up. Good. Good job. Uh, now, let's see. Now that they've left... Oh. Can we... Let's let's evacuate the island again. That's a lot of French units there that I don't want to deal with. In fact, let's see if France will peace us out. Awesome. France. We now have a peace treaty with France. We'll let our army regenerate a little bit. In fact, I'm going to merge them together between episodes. Uh, but importantly, let's see if we can get these guys snuck through into the Black Sea. If we can get them past this French fleet, I think that'll help a lot. I don't know if we can, but I hope that we can. Okay. And the Prussians seem to be content to stop their offensive. Which is fine by me. Um, our income was stopped temporarily because we uh, Vienna was under siege, but we're still good now. And let's just destroy what's left of that Russian army, just so that they don't pose a threat to us. I'm going to do this in person, because we lose way more men with auto-resolves than we need to. So, uh, But I think I'm going to do that between episodes. This one's gone on a little long again. Uh, it's just, uh, there's so much going on. It's hard to keep track of everything. But anyway, uh, I think we're doing all right. And uh, on the next episode, we'll... I think we're going to focus on the Russians. Uh, we'll, we'll hold the line against the Prussians and push back against Russia. Um, that's the plan. So yeah, we'll start to enact that on the next episode. So until then, see you later.